Well, hello, my butterflies. How are you? How is your body? How is your mind? How is your spirit? I want to thank you for choosing to listen to my voice for Pretty Wing Magic's audio journal. Entry number 148, titled, Turn Your Water Into Wine. I am your host, Tracy, your spiritual plug. I flip energy and help others do the same. This week's candle was I am love, which is for self-love, forgiveness, and understanding. It smells like rose petals and it can be purchased at prettywingmagic.com along with its accompanying incense. So the title, Turn Your Water Into Wine. So that title is inspired by the book of John chapter two verses 1 through 10. So with this being, this is Easter weekend, if you're not listening in real time, it's Saturday morning. And um, earlier this week, you know, I Googled, you know, what books in the, what, where is Easter reference in the Bible? And they said the book of Matthew, John, and Luke. Might have said one more, but I'm not sure. But I chose John because I had already listened to the book of Matthew so, um, as I'm listening to the book of John, they talk about, so basically one verses one through 10, um, of chapter two, basically Jesus and his mama and his disciples is at a party and his mama's like, you know, Hey, tell Jesus they out of wine. And he like, okay, that ain't my business. Um, but okay. I, you know, so Jesus is like, even though that ain't my business, I do what I do best. Right. So, um, what Jesus did, he told his disciples, hey, go get them, go get those, take those water bottles or whatever and give them to uh, the master of ceremonies. I think that's what they call him. But basically the person who, um, the head honcho. So by when he gives, when they, they start off as water, but when he get, they give the, you know, the water jugs to the head honcho, they, you know, they whine at this point. So the dude drinks and he like, damn, this some good ass wine. Like, why y'all bring, you know, like usually he said, usually y'all let people get drunk and then y'all bring out the good stuff. But y'all basically brought it out early, not knowing that it was just water, right? That Jesus turned into wine. So there's a couple of things that came to mind. Um, Well, the main thing that came to mind when I first, when I wrote the note down is um, speaking life into your water. Right. And then um, there's a scientist. His name is I'm about to tell you his name because I want to get it right. His name is Masuru Masaru Emoto. But he was a suicide uh, scientist. And what he um, proved or coined, um, he it says the molecular structure of water is influenced by the words and feelings that are directed towards it. So basically water has feelings, right? Um, and what I did at the very, very beginning, one of the things I would did at the very beginning of my self-love journey 
was I would drink a glass. I would speak affirmations into my water in the morning, my glass of water, and I would drink it. Right. And that was to reprogram, you know, my subconscious thoughts and, you know, to put high vibration of water, you know, to basically raise my vibration. There we go. Sorry, y'all. It's early. <sighs> Any hooses to raise my vibration. And there is an experiment that he did. And I'll try to find, I know it's on YouTube, but basically what they did is they spoke, you know, negatively and positively into water. And then they, you know, put the molecules under a microscope and you could see the effects of um, the positive and negative words had on the water. So um, I'll link that just for proof. So y'all don't think I'm just making shit up. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I don't, I don't think that, but any hooses. So I say all of that to say, turn your water into wine, right? You have the ability to change your mindset. You have the ability to change your day. You have the ability to change your life, right? And all it takes is love, right? Because we know God is love. Jesus turning that water into wine was love. You know how they say you can tell when somebody cooks with love, it just feels different. Like you can tell, like the food tastes different. It feels different. Like if you can feel it in your body. And what if, just a what if, Jesus touched that water, right? Because we know Jesus was the son of God and we are the son of God too. This is why I say we have the ability to do the same thing. And what if, that water, Jesus just spoke life into it, right? He spoke love into it. And it made them people feel so good. It raised their vibration so high that they thought they was tipsy off wine. You see what I'm saying? Well, maybe not, but it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> but what comes to mind is drunken love. Is that song, Drunk in Love by Beyonce. And I'm actually going to make that the candle of the week. Because I used to have that candle. It smelled like watermelon. But at the time I made it, it was for, it was different energy attached to it. And I discontinued it. But I may bring it back for the summer. And it will be with those intentions. Right? That, that overwhelming I don't even say overwhelming because I can never be overwhelmed by God's love. But that overflowing feeling of God's love. There we go. That overflowing feeling of our ancestors' love. So thank y'all for listening to me because y'all just inspired me. I literally came up with that in real time. But anywho, that's going to be the candle of the week. Drunk in love. So we're going to take our water. We're going to speak life into it. We're going to speak love into it before we drink it. And, you know, they say you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. So we have eight opportunities to change our day around. If it's not going how we want it to go or how we need it to go. You know, because you can wake up in the morning and be like, oh, so that's going to be a good day. And then as soon as you get to work, somebody piss you off. Okay, well, your next glass of water, what are we going to do? We're going to alchemize that energy. We're going to change those thoughts into something positive, and then we're going to drink that water, and we're going to keep it moving. So, that's it. That's all. My next entry will be over chapter 2, verse 19. And it will be talking about taking care of our body or rebuilding our bodies, rebuilding our minds, things like that. So thank you so much for listening. Again, I will link the book of John from YouTube. I will link that in the show notes. I will link the video for that study for how water is affected by how we talk to it. Of course, I will link this week's playlist. Um, what else? You know, you'll find the link to Pretty Me Magic as well, but so you can purchase your own. I am Love Candle. 
So thank you so much for listening. Know that you are love. You are peace. You are enough. You are protected. And you are forever adjusting. Be love. Be well. Be you.